unleashing more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Cut Revive says Brad Art in his latest single. Brad is on our set right now with the video for the single. Brad, sir. Yeah, man. Welcome, man. Bless up. Respect, respect. Explain the title for us. Can't Cut Revives. Well, Can't Cut Revives is just a, um, a light-hearted, uh, profound, but light-hearted track about us. As and, and, and I mean Jamaicans, mm -hmm. um, you know it speaks to our diversity in terms of you know even our looks, racial mix, and our behavior. We have presence. We we always bring some life and a vibe okay. to the room. But you know, we 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 are cool still, you know, and we always just have a vibe that people want to share. Even though, you know, you might find that there are some people who might not like us for it, but the majority of people, wherever we go, always receive us well and want to be a part of us and share in that kind of Jamaican vibe. And it makes us feel good and want to sing about it. To reinforce that nobody can cut our, our vibes, exactly. even though most people are supporters of our vibe. Exactly. So you're going after those who are detractors. Oh, not really, you know, as a matter of fact, you know, we have to sing positive things to ourselves sometimes. As a matter of fact, I'm just hoping that also we can kind of, you know, galvanize some kind of movement or some, a general thought, you know, in people that, that will, you know, bring us back to where we can start seeing ourselves more in a positive light. We just love our country like that and we just feel like if I sing a song like this and share it with the country, I mean... You know, just can get more people to start seeing your country in a positive light and just help to bring people to think positive and do positive. All right, let's go to the song now. So you never know. Not because we look so cool in a mirror, but yeah, real vibes are 
more life, says Brian Art. Uh, yeah. Brian, great song, man. Yeah, man. Give thanks, man. Sounds good, really nice. Very um, uplifting, positive, clean reggae song. So, um, how would you sum up where you are now in terms of your career? Ah, uh, I wouldn't even try something in the top. <laughs> I mean, well, pretty much right now, I was kind of laid back a little bit and um, trying to focus on some other things and, um, you know, just, just living life, you know, more love and more life and, you know, find that we, 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 um, we love music, but there are other things that we love too and we just, you know, find some time to... So love. music is part time, you're saying? No, 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 man. Music is always full time. Full time so much that if I wanted to focus on anything else, I would have had to put down music for a little bit to do that. And now I'm like full circle. And, mm -hmm. you know, because when I'm focusing on music, it's like I just can't do anything else. Because music is just my, my life, my number one. Always. And uh, is this part of a wider project or what? Oh, yes, it is. Um, eventually, the album. But um, this is the second single out. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to be putting out an EP following this. And then, yeah, the album. Okay. Who are your fans? Where are they? Where are they? Who are they? All over the place. I find that um, because of the type of music that I have, like, like even some of my popular, most popular songs, like Get It, is, is, is that, that song was like a household song. You know, I find that like from grandmothers all the way down to baby singer songs. What's coming up for you that you wish to talk about? Okay, well, right now, this is my primary focus right now, this project. Working, working, I'm working with um, Gumshan Band. You probably know, remember Gumshan Band, who were the musicians for Barry Saman. And they and I did a lot of work um, from my earliest projects coming along. And right now, we're really focusing a lot of energies on this. We had done some run like on the road, you know, like with them, but we kind of decided that we gonna come back to Jamaica and just settle down, get the repertoire up mm. and and just get things back to a level and then hit the road again. When will that happen? The getting up the repertoire, I suspect you're well, talking about the album, to, the well, there will of be the a, album. There, there will be overlaps because we're gonna be out there sometime this summer. Definitely we have stuff booked over until September that we're gonna be doing. And and the album I mean, will come when? The, about when? Can you put no, I can't, I can't promise anything for the album, but we're trying to finish the EP for, this, for the summer. For the summer this year? Yeah. Well, Brian, sir, very, yeah, all the very best with this track and yeah, uh, the album. I appreciate it. We look forward to its coming and so on. And all the very best you. with your career out there all right. in this time. And we yeah. hope your lessons, your, your message is received. I hope so, too. All right, there I you have you. a strong feeling that it will. All right. <laughs> there you have him in the segment, Brian Art on our stage. Stay with us, still to come right here on stage.